So we don't, we, I think the first few is okay. We can talk about the, I'll just quickly do the rest. Lah. Then we can show that GF exists, HG exists, whether this exists or not. Compensate value. Let's do it together. I think this should be quite fast. Come. So the first thing we should do is draw the graph law. Okay, always draw the graph. So GF lawn, you have to be solid lah, when you come to graph sketching. Um, typically students will have problem with the vertical asymptote or horizontal asymptote. So one plus GX, you should know that the asymptote is here. This is X equals to minus one. Okay. You can try and draw without your GC's help. So this is Y, this is zero and this is X. Okay, this is the graph here that we're looking at. HX, uh, HX would be, uh, graph is very important here. So we're gonna look at this. This one here will be uh, Y goes to two and this is uh, Y, X. Okay, um, you know what this means? Or is zero positive number? <laughs> so my question is, is it like that or like that? Second one, zero is neutral. Okay, zero is neutral. So second one. So X bigger, this, this, if you see this, you, you have to know it's X bigger. I will slowly in, introduce all this notation out lah, huh? Because I cannot one, at one go just tell you what is going on. So this, this means is X bigger than zero. X is an element of R real number and you need positive. So this graph will look something like that. This one is a circle, three goes down like that. Important, very important. Okay. Yeah. This is maybe I draw this as HX uh, easier. FX. Okay, good job, people. Okay, then uh just quickly write down the domain and the range. Ah yeah. Um, you can also write this as real value is fine. Can also write as this, um, this is which is actually zero to infinity range of H is eh, two to three, job. Yes. Okay. okay, good job. Now, if you want, now this is how you see, uh, you try and reason yourself like that. If GX to exist, you need to show, okay, G and H, if GH, the first archer is H, right? The first archer is H. So you need to show whether the range of the first, the first one to shoot, well, collection points the domain can contain within the domain of the second archer. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, if HG exists, you need to show whether the range of G can be contained in the domain of H. That's how you see. First archer is the one closest to X. So G, the range of G, whether it can contain within the second guy there. Okay, so we look at this. So to show GH, uh, you see whether range of H, can this be accommodated inside here? Range of H, can you go inside? Minus one, two to three, can, uh? can obviously can, right? So this case here, since uh, range of H can be accommodated co inside the domain of G, hence, GH exists. So uh, then since a range of G K 
cannot be accommodated into the domain of H. Hence, uh, HG doesn't exist. Okay. So the rule is okay, right? The rule, so we, we, we show already. So we want to find the rule. So rule to find rule of GH, right? GH exists. Just a rule. Uh, this case here will be GHX would mean that we just uh, do it. Then this will just replace this into one plus X. Okay, just uh, replace it in uh, this, this whole thing is an X here. So then you get Okay, good job. Then I think this one rule is okay. Domain is also okay. Domain of GH is just the domain of the first guy. First guy decides who what, what gets into the system. So that will be, uh, or you can write it as zero to infinity, also can. Okay. Oh, they don't have a domain there. Okay, never mind. Uh, exact, the range. This one, I may need a bit of attention. This one is important. So, you must always, when it comes to composite function, co composite means a mixture of two functions. Uh, okay. So, you, if you take them and compose them together, you need to decide which is the first function. The first function is H. So, meaning, first function gives in here to here and shoots out two to three. Okay. This is the range of H, right? Okay, this is the mapping function. Huh? So I'm, I'm going to map it out for you. This guy shoots, the first guy shoots from two to three. Okay, and then when this guy collects, it will collect from here. The two to three will be transferred to this part here. Okay, I repeat. Huh? First guy shoots the range fit into the other guy of the x-axis there, the domain. So when the other, the second guy collects really, where, what do we take? It takes this one oh, here to here. This is your resultant curve here. That's why the circle shaded is very important because this is doesn't include two, doesn't include three. Ah. So this part here will give you lawn three. This part here will give you lawn four. Okay. So this is your new range. So this is your range of, what is it called? <laughs> GH, GH, okay, GH, GH. So, hence, okay, any question? No question, then you can do the subsequent question.